Welcome to Thank God It's a Story Saturday video series. This is a video series where I share with you stories that I have used and people that I have worked with have used to make sure their messages stick. So I'm based in Singapore and a lot of the work that I do is out of Southeast Asian region. It is a fascinating region. It's culturally so diverse. But there is a problem that comes with this cultural diversity, the problem of the language. A lot of the people who work in the organizations always feel this not good enough feeling, not because of their capability, but because of the fact that their English is not good. Now, in an organization, we needed to make it very normal for people to feel it's okay not to know everything about English and not to have these perfectly crafted sentences. So we chose two stories to tell them and these are the stories that we used. The first story we used was of ex-CEO of PepsiCo, Indra Noe. Indra Nui shared that when she went to United States from India to study in the Yale School of Management, because she was a vegetarian, she always looked for curd to be able to have in her meal. So it's quite normal for Indian vegetarians to have curd with their meal to substitute the protein. Now, wherever she went and asked for curd, everybody would look around and say like, what are you talking about? Until one day somebody turned around and said, just ask for yogurt. What she called curd is called yogurt in the United States. So it was clear that she also didn't know everything. The second story that we share is that of Dr. Bernay Brown. So Dr. Bernay Brown is a world-renowned author, speaker, and shame and vulnerability expert. She talks about the story that you know, when she first started her career in speaking, there was this day when she was at the venue and the organizers were talking about the audience. So she wanted to see who the audience was, so she went ahead and actually pulled this velvet curtain which separates the auditorium with the green room. And as she peeked and looked, she saw this the scene in which there were these men with white shirts and gray and navy blue suits and she felt a little intimidated and overwhelmed she went back to the green room and there was this another speaker sitting over there who asked her are you okay so she said to him who are these people in the audience it looks like a brooks brothers convention he said oh they're all sea level people so she turned around and said sea level people and they said oh yeah like sea level people as in you know, CMOs, CEOs, CFOs, and her face became red. Because in that moment she realized when the organizer had told her that they're all C-level people, what she thought she meant was that they're all SEA, C-level down to earth people. She had not known what C-level, C-suite means. So if people of Bernay Brown's caliber and Indra Nui's caliber also have had moments where they have not known everything about the English language, then it is fine.